Hi guys, welcome back to Tigre Itana. My name is Abby. Let me put this down. And today we are going to do, I'm going to show you guys what I got from the Botanica this time around. So this is my second Botanica haul. <laughs> um, and I have it. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, this time around for the month of January from the Botanica. So let me, let me bring it down because it's just taking up too much space. So the first thing I guess, I mean, I already opened it and I used it already because I had to. Um, this is the um, clearance uh, Let Me Loose Unlock. It's kind of basically like a road opener in, the, in a way. But this I needed to do today um, because I like, okay, so something had happened literally while I was on my way to the Botanica. That, oh, one of my friends had told me something that the way it happened, I guess the way I reacted to it emotionally, it kind of triggered something in me and I knew I needed to kind of shake the energy and heal that space. So I needed to do like, um, an uncrossing in a way, but I just needed this person to release me in emotionally in a different way um so i wanted to disconnect the energy um how it has been for a while in a different way and set a new intention for that relationship so i wanted to do the um let me go like bath so when i saw this i was like i, I know i need to do an herbal bath i need to do it asap so i literally bought it today what like you know i bought it today and i already used it it smells really good um but i feel a lot lighter and i, I needed that like anytime that as, especially as a healer myself anytime that i find myself in a situation that triggers um something that's like uncomfortable i'm like ooh, a space that needs to heal and i jump on it like right away so i'm really glad that that actually happened because i didn't know um as, having venus in aquarius to me is a really easy way for me to detach from people so anytime that i'm like forced to feel something whether or not i feel like i'm actively trying to be detached or whatever the case may be i know that i need to pull back and like oh wait there's something there and address it so i really like that that happened even though it was very triggering emotionally triggering for me and i'm going to be doing another spell after this um in regards to this as well but this is the first part i'm going to show you the other thing that i got in order for me to continue doing the thing but i needed to do an herbal cleanse first um or like a bath um before i can do the second part of it so that was the first thing that i got and then this is the second thing that's gonna go with that specific spell this is a separation candle um and i needed to do this for me because again i feel like the shift the way my relationship with this person is it's not necessarily um i don't want to use the word healthy um or unhealthy it's just more like it's unclear it's very illusionary in many ways and it's like i want to set a new intention for this relationship this friendship i want it to be healthy i want it to be strong um i want any tides romantically to be done as far as me goes um i want to just be at peace and um feel like fine and I, I have been feeling fine for a while but you know like that a moment happened that triggered me and I'm just like there's something that where I'm not completely okay so let me just address that so that's what I'm going to be using this candle for and I'm going to do this tonight because there's no time like the present I mean I could wait um a little bit but no it's no time like the present like there's certain things that need to be done right now <laughs> right now right now uh let's see what else did i get okay this is i'm gonna use um for my trip to um so i'm filming this the day before i'm going to take my trip to the uh to the woods basically because i'm going for my birthday i will be vlogging this so you guys will see this later also if you guys hear snoring that is my best friend he snores a lot so i apologize <laughs> but i'm going to be for my birthday on the solar eclipse tomorrow so when you guys are seeing this it's gonna be next week but um it bees what it bees i'm going to be in the woods um doing some magic and and just chilling with the girls and having a great time um in the woods um basically just relaxing unwinding um and working our magic at the same time because we are going to do uh, a ritual and offering to oshun uh to bless us for the year and i've been working with her a lot this year already and up, up to, 
like upcoming to this year so it's like it's important for me to just honor her since the river is going to be right there by where we're staying um so this is florida water but in spray form and i needed this for when we get to the place because you got to keep it cleansed boo like can't just be walking up here like not cleansed so i'm bringing the florida water i'm also bringing a sage but i know some people don't like uh sage and i already have if you if anybody can have who follows me on ig knows why i think people have issues with sage because they don't want to let go of their mm, energies but uh, i will be bringing sage too but this is gonna be just you know for me to do that quick cleanse keep the energy nice and cute and good for the remainder of that, of that time uh let me see what else did i get so let's talk candles because I did get a few of them for the month. Uh, the first one is Hi John the Conqueror. <laughs> I said that so dramatic. Hi John. <laughs> I got the Hi John the Conqueror in purple. And I got this candle specifically because there's something that I've been kind of working my magic towards to when it comes to work. Um, and I want to specifically um, work with um, Hi John the Conqueror for this because I like his energy is very much. I just like the way his energy would match for the spell basically that's kind of the best way that I can explain it in order for you to understand uh, so that's why I'm gonna be using um, high John for this and it's definitely for like a it's a spell that I'm gonna do to just make sure that um, things are fair and nobody's trying to like take advantage of me when it comes to how, where I put my energy to when it comes to work and stuff like that like I don't need no bs so i'm just gonna keep the energies clear by setting that intention the next two candles are for um hold on Ooh. Oh, actually no i got another a different one uh this one is for shango and it says the spirit of good luck at the bottom and i am going to be lighting this when jupiter moves into my fifth house specifically um because which is going to be on the 11th january 11th and i'm gonna be doing this because i already know that the energy is going to be present in that space but i want to make sure that i'm invoking um and connecting to that energy and i love working um specifically with jungle for that and i just feel like i need to be a little bit more free and flowing into that space so that's why i'm going to be kind of channeling that energy into that space and asking for blessings obviously uh the next one that i got um was the santa muerte in candle uh in red candle <laughs> in candle um in red and i uh started working with santa muerte like a while ago and it's been like an amazing experience so far um and i'm excited to kind of continue to develop my relationship with her and for some reason her red it like form is the one that like her basically how do you wait i can't remember how to say it in spanish um like her form and red i can't cannot remember how to say it in spanish but there's a word to it is the one that i've been like getting called into and i know why i'm getting called into this specific one because this one deals with like love and attraction and different things um and passion that's her her red form basically um so i'm gonna be working with her for that because specifically for some really interesting reason spirit has told me that the next person that i fall for is going to be a scorpio with aries placements um and fire placements speak well fire placements themselves but because i mean i did i mean i guess this is my fault but i did last year i want to say in september um i was just like in meditation with spirit and i was just like you know you guys i just really want to work for a scorpio next because there's this thing that scorpios do that i just absolutely love that they do this and i haven't like had that in a while and i just miss it you know so okay basically what they do is that like they just give you exactly what you want and I know you're like, wait, but what? You no, exactly what you want. And I'm going to tell you this with a story. So there's this guy that I work with um, at work and he's, um, 
he's a Scorpio and he's an October Scorpio. October Scorpios tend to be a little bit lighter than a November Scorpios. November Scorpios are usually more intense. Um, but he's an October Scorpio and he is so sweet. I actually love all my Scorpios that I work with at work. They're all like different levels of power. But he specifically is so 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 sweet and I love him because we this one time we were like on the floor together and we're, we're on the first floor and he usually never co goes down there and I was joking with him about that and then we just started talking about music because you know he's like Cuban Puerto Rican and um, we're talking about music and dancing and stuff and I was telling him my plans that, that I had with like some other friend about something um, and then we just talk, talking about dancing and we're like behind us we're like putting music and, and putting the playlist and stuff and we're playing a lot of bachata you know and like salsa and merengue and all this stuff and so I told him something that a lot of people don't know about me even though I mean I guess I, I put it on Twitter now so it's it's on the internet so everybody I guess can say they know but one of the things that I've always always loved is when I'm dancing with someone I love to get spinned I love to get spinned probably more than anything in the world I don't know why but it's just it's just it's so much fun and I love it and, and like I was just kind of I kind of confided in him that thing about me that a lot of people don't know uh, which is that I love to get spins. So basically ever since that day that I told him that, every single time that I see him, we don't say hello like other Spanish people do. We don't like, we'll, we don't hug. We don't, no, no kiss on the cheek. No high five, no punt, no, 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 no. Every time I saw him from the day on, he like extended his hand like this and I would put it, put my, and I was like, what? And then I put my hand on top of his and then he would spin me like three times and that's how we would say hello. And I literally just like every single time that I'm at work and this happens is like the, it just, it just brings me back to life and it just, I feel like I'm happy and I'm like, I'm getting all weirdly teary, but it just, uh, it just makes me happy. It's just that thing that I love that it just it happens now on a regular just because I told them that so I just I love the Scorpios do that like they know what you want and they just give it to you and it don't have to be that cop I mean they, when they get manipulated the you know but it doesn't have to be that complicated they just like they're like oh wow you know that she really enjoys this I'm just gonna do it every time she sees like I see her and it's uh, we've seen each other on the street and it'll just we'll stop walking and it'll happen and I just think it's like super sweet and so whatever so I was like in meditation with spirit and I was like you know what guys I really would love to fall for a Scorpio because the last person I fall for was, was a Pisces and like now I'm just like I really want to fall for a Scorpio I love I just I want to just be overly sexual with someone and I want them to do that thing that I really like I want them to figure out what it is that I love and do it so I can like freak out about the fact that somebody paid attention <laughs> that deep about that so yeah so i asked spirit about that and so i've been kind of uh, basically what had happened is that the past two and a half months um i've been dreaming about this girl that i've never met before at all and it's kind of like i don't know if she happens to be a spiritual person i get the the vibe that she is because i feel like she spiritually is calling me in but um the way it's happening it's weird because I've been dreaming about her for like months now and Spirit's just like yep she's gonna be a Scorpio and she has those fire placements because I like uh, Venus and Christ we love the fire I can't I can't undo what I, I but my Capricorn ass loves water so that's there has to be a combo basically uh so I keep getting the message from Spirit that I'm gonna fall for a Scorpio with fire placements and then I keep dreaming about her so that's interesting um and then once Jupiter moves into my fifth house in the house of pleasure I'm like great oh god uh so I know that's why she's kind of aligning with me right now and we'll see how that goes I will keep you guys updated I guess with if you guys want to know about my love life I guess Wish me damn luck, but I mean I do love Scorpios. Um, I've always like followed for Scorpios and like love, love, love Scorpios because I, I, I can be deep with them and not feel like I have to, you know. I, I need to be taken like under sometimes. That's what it is. Uh, so the next one. Oh wait, no. Ugh, hold on. We're, we're reaching the bottom of the bag now. So I got four of these. 
the white. These are like 15 cents. Ooh. These guys. And this is going to go with this. So this is going to be for that specific spell. Uh, let me see because I know I have more stuff in here. Oh, yeah, I did, ooh. I did get two different um, oils because I need to make her oil. I don't know how to make it. I, I, I don't, I have my blend, but I need to make the Santa Marta oil. So one of the two ingredients that you use for her is rose and tobacco oil, like essential oils. So that's why I bought that. Oh, let me see. I think this is probably the last thing. Yeah, the bag feels like. The last thing I bought is actually for you guys, um, but I thought it was kind of cool for us to do because we are going to be doing more um, from my spell book series. We're going to do spells out of books. Um, the next one I'm going to do is not going to be from this book. This is going to be for my fe February people. We all talk, but I got this book. It's called Modern Witchcraft Book of Love Spells, Your Complete Guide to Attracting Passion, Love, and Romance. So I got this, got this for you guys. So this is my gift to you basically um so we'll be doing a, a like a couple spells especially in february because i know this is a time where a lot of people get all types of lonely and all that stuff usually in february sun is in aquarius aquarius is my venus so i'm just having a grand old time doing my thing like i detached i can be detached as a fuck. <laughs> um but yeah so i thought maybe we could like do a couple of these little mm -hmm, mm -hmm things together and you know who knows we'll see what we'll see what happens from them um so yeah that's what i got for for january for the yeah for the beginning of the month i feel like uh, everything that i got is for a specific purpose it's not really too open i still have a couple of things and bits from last month so i didn't need to spend that much i usually only spend like about 35 to 40 bucks every time i go it's for my monthly su supplies uh from the botanica anyway so um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, stay tuned for the vlog for my birthday eclipse vlog. That should be fun. Um, and I will see you guys next time, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!